Well, I mean, to be completely honest, to give you my, like, the first thoughts that popped into my mind was Josh Hawley is a and he ran like Hi, it's Alonzo Bowden. I'm here with another Rebel HQ TYT video. We're talking about Josh Hawley. You know by now the way he ran. Man, he can sprint. And we're talking about Officer Fanone. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Officer Mike Fanone talking about this. And he said something that was simple and was true. Hawley is And Hawley ran like a now, I know that might sound raw to some people and you don't want to use that language. Well, there's no other word for it. And this officer would know because he was there. But they all are. All these, these cowardly Republicans who talk all that smack about how badass they were. I didn't see Boebert there with her gun protecting herself. I didn't see Ted Cruz with his bacon-making gun protecting the other senators. I didn't see Marjorie Taylor Greene talking to her white nationalists and racist friends. No, they were a bunch of cowards, and they hid, and the officer is right. And the fist pump combined with uh, what he did in the immediate aftermath just shows the true character, or lack thereof. Well, we do know now that Josh Hawley would qualify for the Uvalde Police Department, another group of cowards. I mean, there's no other word for it, but here's the thing, and once again, the hypocrisy if it weren't real, it would be comical. These are the Howley's, one of these guys that talks about the feminization of men in America and young men aren't weak and they're held back and you, you, know, you have to use somebody's pronoun which somehow takes away from your manhood and blah, blah, blah. Women are feminizing men. Really? Really, Josh? Which women's track coach trained you for the 100? Because that's what you ran. You're actually running past women trying to get away you weak coward. You know, being a man isn't necessarily about being the strongest or, or the meanest or the toughest or anything. But one of the things that I was taught, one of the responsibilities, and it's a man or woman about being an adult, showing up and doing your job. How about that, Josh? How about showing up and doing your job instead of running like a coward and hoping someone else protects you and then talking about, oh, there are no real men left. How would you know? Oh, that's right. You saw them protecting you. Obviously, I see like the amusement of it, and I'm not going to fault people for finding it humorous, but uh, that pisses me off. That guy's a clown. Another thing I fully agree with that Officer Fanon said is, these guys are clowns. These people are clowns. And, and they're caricatures. They play characters in Congress. They play tough guy, or they play outraged woman, or they play American, or whatever. And that would be fine, except that this is real. Okay, these are the people who set policy. These are the people who make laws. These are the people who, unfortunately, are examples to millions of people. So them being clowns isn't funny. It's real. And this shows who they are. It shows the lack of character they have. And to anyone who says that he is disrespectful as an officer, why should he have any respect for these people? Why would you have any respect for people like Howley or Boebert or Marjorie Taylor Greene or Ted Cruz or any of them who will use any opportunity to get into the press? But when something real happens, they run and hide like cowards. And here's another thing that Officer Fanon did that they don't do. He used names and he put his name on it, right? That's what they say. Put your name on it. If you believe it, put your name on it. He put his name on his statement. I got respect for this guy. You get a lot of that nonsense up here on Capitol Hill with these members of Congress uh, that have become like a caricature in the, the media. Uh, but in reality, they have no character. Um, they have no honor. They have no integrity. So once again, the question arises, will it matter? And honestly, I don't know. Will this hurt Josh Hawley um, in the elections? I don't know. His hometown paper is calling him a coward. He's been an embarrassment. He's been called out by any and everyone in the news. But will people vote for him? Yeah, I think they will. I think they still will. I did, did you know. You got Fox News telling everybody it's not an insurrection. I haven't seen Fox's take on this, but I'm sure they have something about the police weren't there to protect or who knows what crap they'll make up. I don't know. But, you know, people support this guy. Um, he wrote a book about manhood. It'll sell 
25 copies. I, I don't know. The Proud Boys might pass it around. But ultimately, due to January 6th hearings matter, time will tell. And once again, I say I am not interested in the hearings. I'm interested in perp walks. Yeah, it's funny to watch Josh Hawley run like a coward, and it is who he is. But like Officer Fanon said, it's not funny because it's real. These are our, quote, representatives. Yeah, Missouri. This the best you could do? Congratulations.